Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. For 566 days, Ukraine stands strong against the Russian invasion. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed in his evening video address that he vetoed the controversial law on electronic declarations. The law adopted previously by the parliament envisaged that the register of declarations of government and elected officials will be made public not immediately, but in a year. This point caused a public outcry and a petition to the president calling for a veto. Zelensky stressed that he expects a new vote already in September. He added that this is a matter not only of the political responsibility of the parliament, but also of Ukraine's negotiations with the European Union on accession. Quote, a new historic step between Ukraine and the EU should take place this year, and all branches of government in Ukraine should work to make it happen, unquote, said the head of state. Denmark has decided to give Ukraine a military aid package worth almost 800 million euros, which will be its largest contribution since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, reports European Pravda. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Denmark Lars Loke Rasmussen said that the country gave most of what it could give from its stockpiles directly with weapons, so in the future Copenhagen plans to focus on purchases for Ukraine's current needs, together with other allies. The minister refrained from clarifying which weapons can be purchased with this money. The president of Ukraine thanked Denmark for this decision. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Director of the U.S. Air National Guard, Lt. General Michael Law, believes that the first group of Ukrainian pilots can be trained on F-16 fighters in the United States before the end of the year, reports Ukrainska Pravda. At the same time, he stressed that they will be able to perform combat missions only later. Ukrainian pilots are expected to arrive at the U.S. National Guard Morris Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona by October. These aviators are currently being tested on their English proficiency and depending on their knowledge and previous experience on fighter jets, they could complete their training in the U.S. within three months. Law added that to meet the tight training timeline, Tucson will likely shift some of its other international pilot training commitments to prioritize Ukraine. After completing their studies in the US, Ukrainians will need to return to Europe for additional training with NATO. NATO allies are also training the Ukrainians in aircraft maintenance, and this must be completed before the planes begin combat missions. Law could not estimate how long the additional training would take. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.